Hey, Cancer! What is up? It's your girl Raven, the Pink Panther Patty, the Rainbow Bright. You know what time it is. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. And so is my dog Golden. You can probably just see like a corner of him. I'm looking on the camera. Yeah, but he's doing good. We're chilling. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. <laughs> I most certainly hope it is for you guys too, wherever you are, okay? All right, let me explain the reading, all right? So if you haven't figured it out, this is for my lovely Cancer energies, okay? You may not even be a Cancer. You could just have it somewhere in your chart and therefore the message that I read for you can still resonate for you a bit okay so I just ask that you take a resonates leave out what does not please and please 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 enjoy the reading okay God bless you guys so much for all the love and support that you guys show to the channel thank you guys for subscribing for returning please continue to like comment and subscribe and share all right <clears throat> so cancer let's see what's gonna come out all right and then we'll just go from there all right Holy Spirit Please tune me into the collective frequency of cancer. Please show me the messages here from my lovely cancer souls, my lovely cancer energies. Okay, well, this one. All right, so we got stable foundation. So this could have something to do with someone trying to, you know, build stability. You know, whether this is in a relationship or financially, you know, take it how it resonates. What else here for cancer? Okay, Cancer says no limits. So someone didn't have any limits to what they would do, or there's no limit to what you can do. Uh, we got uh, tarot stalking, divination stalking, psychics. So you may have someone who's watching tarot or getting divination done to stalk you and see what's going on. Um, let me keep going. Let's see what else. I don't like when they fall out in groups. But we have a whole mess. Throw it all away and start anew. Okay. Whew. All right. Let me keep going. I'm going to dig from the middle. Let's do that. All right. What else here for cancer? They are not hexing or cursing you. It is your karma. Okay. So someone here could be thinking that the karma that they're getting for their bad choices have come from you. <laughs> And that's not the case, okay? Um, crabs in a barrel mentality. So someone here can have a crabs in a barrel mentality. No pun intended on the sign, okay? Not at all. You know, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? That someone here can have that mentality where, um, you know, they don't want to, you know, they don't want to see somebody else rise because they couldn't rise or something like that. Um, let me keep going here. I'm not going to clarify each and every single one of these, but I just want to get, you know, just for the energy. And I want you guys to see too, you know, what else? instant karma <laughs> someone here is just getting karma and again it's probably instant karma because they were attacking you it's like it could be the energy of your spirit team like bouncing it back you know what i'm saying because they keep talking about you or something i don't know we'll see here uh what else so someone here is just getting karma. This could deal with the workplace. We got workplace drama here. So this could involve, you know, where you're working at. You know, someone here is on that bull bull. You feel me? <laughs> what else here for cancer? Or it's gonna be or it doesn't have to be a workplace. This could be like just somebody that you're in a circle with, like an inner circle or a community or something with. Um, that you work on projects with or something like that, or you work together on things. Someone here wants to take you down. Love is waiting at home. Get off of the streets. And something got dumped in the trash. Got in the trash here. Okay, so Cancer. Let's roll with that. Um, somebody here could be covering for a karmic. Mm. I'm karmic as fuck and I don't want to be left behind. This could be a concern for you. <laughs> okay. Let me take this in a second, because this indeed is a whole mess. Hold on. So, right now, you could be, you could have a stable foundation right now, you know, um, or you're in the mindset of that. You're manifesting that, you know, law of attraction, you know, you're just, you know, vetting out what you need to do and you're believing this, you know. Um, someone here is mad at your come up here, Cancer. You know, they don't, with this crabs in a barrel mentality car, somebody here, they don't like the, we started from the bottom, while we, while we, now we're here. Somebody doesn't like that. <laughs> they don't like the started from the bottom, now we're here. 
they don't they don't like that at all they, they don't like that for you there we go you know what i'm saying this could be the energy of somebody who sees people have achievements and when they can't do that for themselves they want to bash you know something like that um but this person could absolutely want to take you down and they could be facing karma for that and every time they probably speak against your name or try to throw attack at you or something they're getting instant karma somebody here could also be covering for a karmic and maybe what it all boils down to with this crabs in a barrel mentality here is that you are moving on and having a stable foundation in your life and you're good you can't be rocked here and somebody just does not want to be left behind that's what i'm getting here but i'm gonna get into the cards and we'll see but i'm gonna put some of these back um well actually no i'm just gonna line them up over here all right give me a second here okay i'm gonna <clears throat> sort these according to energy Let's see. Okay, almost done here. I know this probably doesn't make sense to you, but it does intuitively for me. <laughs> All right. These, okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, so that's the Capricorn in me, okay? Kind of methodical a little bit, you feel me? All right, <laughs> let me get into it. So Holy Spirit, for my lovely Cancer Energies, can you please give us some clarity on what we mean with the stable foundation? Again, I really feel like that's you being stable or you seeking that stable foundation. Drowning over your head, overextended rock bottom. Someone here may have hit their rock bottom. Now they're craving a stable foundation. Someone here could feel like they're drowning. They've overextended themselves. Or this could talk about how maybe you were drowning in the past and now you've come out of that and now things are more stable for you. What else here? Okay, we got intimacy, mutual respect, unity, closeness. Okay, so this could talk about a relationship too. You know, like you could um, be on a stable foundation with your partner. You know, there could be mutual respect. You know, you guys are united. Things, you know, things are, you know, you and someone are getting really close. You know, like your connection is like really, really starting to bond with someone. You know I mean, like you're really about to bond like really, really, you know, on a deeper level. Like things are really, really getting deep between you and somebody, you know. Let me get some additional cards out to... Um, get some clarification going I'll set these here holy spirit can you clarify drowning and int well we'll do drowning first a stable foundation yeah someone here is starting over um someone here had a lot of obligations excessive obligations things like that they were overextending themselves we have overload excess obligation overwhelm you know what i'm saying so someone here may have been drowning in their responsibilities and their obligations or maybe with someone and now they want to um have new beginnings with the origin card here they someone here wants to plant new seeds you know what i'm saying someone here is maybe realizing that hey i was really drowning myself out trying to please a situation or please someone or please a family, you know, something like that. And now someone here is like, okay, I, I want to stabilize things. I want to start over and I want to start over with you. Yeah, this is your treasure. This is abundance. Someone here may have been, you know, strategizing against your treasure too. That's one way of looking at it with the robbery card here, but I ain't got that far yet. I'm not going to go there yet. Okay. Let me clarify. Um, the overload what's the overload because this is happy energy so i don't want to mess it up yet <laughs> well not that i ever mess it up but you know what i mean like i don't want to just make assumptions is what i'm getting you feel me okay libation donation pray religion okay so you have been praying for a way for like a life like a lifesaver you know what i'm saying like like i said you are overextending yourself drowning somebody was most definitely you um may have really tuned into source to whoever it is you're subscribed to spiritually or religiously you feel me and now things are going to be better now this could have something to do with a relationship how you might have been drowning in a um in a past relationship or something 
and you pray for a way out and then maybe you know now you're being united with someone here that has a mute has mutual respect for you or something um what's the intimacy about mm. all right we got aid mercy charity kindness and then we got promise responsible confirmation assurance he's proposing to this woman on this card he's on his knees giving her a ring so someone here now after going through a lot of stress after people pleasing ass energy you know overextending themselves they now have built have have gotten themselves to a point where things are stable and so now they may very well want to offer you something that's a little bit more committed someone here you're going to receive confirmation that someone here um wants to be there for you or something like this is a really caring type energy someone could want to propose and make things more official like someone here may have been holding back like as far as like how close they want to be with you because maybe you know they felt like things weren't financially stable for them or just wasn't stable period you know what else with the intimacy We got homeless and disturbance. So someone that's been put out of you got out of your energy, your person's energy, or maybe both of you guys' energy. Now they want to come in and cause a disturbance to your luck. I try to get away from the drama, but it, it keeps going. We got homeless and disturbance here. You know what I'm saying? So someone here feels like they failed at something here. And then luck is at the bottom of the card. So someone here could have been targeting your jackpot or something like that. Someone may have been seeking to create a disturbance between you and your person or something like that so that they could divert you from having this jackpot of being with this person or something like that. Yeah, this is someone you could have been friends with. Someone who's stubborn, arrogant, someone wearing a mask. Friendship, stubbornness. And then we got the mask card. Isn't that lovely? I know I got the glare. Sorry. <laughs> um... Now that things are coming together for someone that you really care for and they care, and they care for you like it's mutual, like somebody wants to come in and rock the boat. You're going to get confirmation too that somebody was trying to maybe rock somebody's stable foundation. Let me move on here. Don't worry, I'll get into some tarot. Um, oh, here we go. Holy Spirit, can you please clarify the workplace drama here for cancer? What's that about? Let's see what workplace drama is about. <clears throat> so this could be someone you work with or like i said somebody you are in your circle or something laughter happiness joy healing someone here wants to start drama or there is drama in your workplace or in your circle because you're happy or because somebody's happy somebody's healing they have joy there, that's happiness laughter here what else with the workplace drama Somebody at work sees you like unbothered and happy and minding your own business and they don't like that. Burn bridges, lack of trust, disloyal, turn back on. This could be someone that you couldn't trust that may have burned bridges with you because they were disloyal. Someone here could be seeing you happy and they burn bridges with you so now they're mad or something like that. Hold on. What else with the workplace drama? karmics third parties haters lesson learned i'm telling you a hater so basically you got haters at your workplace or your inner circle take it ugh, your inner circle take it how it resonates okay cancer but you got somebody here that is seeing you joyful be happy and all that jazz which i absolutely love by the way when you're in that positive you know happy energy and they hate that holy spirit can you clarify the laughter and karmics together what's that about your job profession your expertise your talent you could be a very skilled individual whatever it is you do whether it's divination doesn't even have to be divination whatever it is that you are doing you know it may even be your part of your life path to do this purpose you know somebody here is jealous someone here's a hater dude they see and then the thing is is not only can you do it but you do it with happiness like you could be the type of energy that's like it's like so easy for you and you're just like so happy and it just comes to you so naturally and this person could suffer and they ha they're hating on that because maybe they had to really you know stress themselves out to learn that skill and maybe they still can't do it like you do you know what i'm saying somebody here is really stressed out what's with the karmics about yep i told you i said that somebody is stressed out headache pressure lack of sleep like someone here is stressed out seeing you in this energy here. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
Somebody here could be trying to learn or collaborate on how to create a misfortune or a curse or to hate on you some more. Like, this is, this is a hating ass situation here. Someone here wants you confused and disappointed. They don't want you happy. Okay, someone here is confused because they're disappointed. They've been isolated and they're not happy, but yet you are. Somebody's weird. Somebody's weird. Yes, I said it. I sure did. And I'm not trying to like throw shots at anybody, but come on, man. Really? Don't be a hater. There's enough love for everybody, you know? Okay, let me move on here, my lovely Cancer Energies. Holy Spirit, can you please clarify? Wants to take you down for my Cancer Lotus Nomad Souls. Somebody got, I like how this came out. Wishful thinking. <laughs> Someone wants to take you down, Cancer. Uh, your spirit team said it is wishful thinking, okay? Second chance, deja vu, nostalgia. Like somebody here is like really, really wanting for this to happen. They really want to take you down, okay? They could be remembering something or someone here, they want a second chance with you so that they can take you down. Or maybe they failed the first time. Maybe they think they can do it again. This could be somebody in your inner circle, family. That's a family card. Blood ties, inner circle. What else will wants to take you down? Someone here could be running or they're in denial. Escape, excuses. Someone here could be making excuses. Someone here, can, someone here who wanted to take you down, Cancer, they could be coming back to you and, and, you know, trying to have a second chance with you. And really what it is, is they're in denial about what's going on and they could be making excuses so that they could escape from whatever it is that they did. You know what I'm saying? Let me get the other cards out. So just be on the lookout for that, okay? Like, use your discernment, your, your intuition, you feel me? Uh, Holy Spirit, can you clarify the wishful thinking and running for Cancer? Ooh, hold on. Okay, that's turned the wrong way. Hold on. Let me do a little quick shuffle. Okay. Clarify wishful thinking and running, please. Memory. Remembrance, commemoration, reunion. Like somebody here, this is an X energy, okay? And um, the memory here... I mean, the memories on here too, nostalgia, deja vu, second chance. Like somebody wants to reunite with you, somebody from your past, or somebody here is just remembering something. Um, what else? What's the running about? <laughs> Withdrawal, quit, awakening, rejection. Someone here could be making up excuses because they know that you're going to reject their ass when they come back in and try to get a second chance with you. Or um, someone here could be getting, um, could be having an awakening. You could be having an awakening that this person is in denial, that they're just looking to escape from reality. You know, so this could also talk about someone running away from you because they want to quit you because they want to break up. This could talk about you running away from them because you broke up with them because you felt they were doing something foolish. What else? Yeah, somebody was wearing a mask and they're being called out for it. protest and mask. Someone's being called out for wearing a mask, for being deceptive, for lying about who they are, their true feelings or something like that. This is a, this is a shapeshifter as energy here. So someone here could come to you. You really have to use your discernment here, Cancer. And I really trust that all of you guys know how to do that. I really hope so. You know what I'm saying? But somebody here could try to come back in after they've done something foolish. You know what I'm saying? Or... Somebody here could be getting called out for doing something foolish against you, which is most definitely going to make you really leave them alone or something like that. Uh, let me keep going. Um, Holy Spirit, can you clarify a whole mess? Throw it all away. Start anew. Masculine energy and consequences. Ooh. Okay, so this could be um, a masculine energy or father figure, someone uh, or someone in a position of authority who could be facing consequences for a bad choice they made or games or mixed signals they were playing. I mean, they were given mixed signals or games they were playing is what I'm trying to say. Like, there's a lot of shit going on here. Um, what else? Or this could be about a masculine energy and someone's facing the consequences. That's crazy. Narcissist, egotistical, opportunist, fragile. So this is definitely... Surrounding a narcissist who's in their ego. Someone could be paranoid or someone could be insecure. So this narcissist could be extremely insecure. Or this could talk about how you're being how you're guarded against this narcissist. Because you may be a bit paranoid, not in a bad way, but just like I don't, you know, this person is unpredictable. I don't know what they might do. 
There's a lot of tension and stress here. Someone's time, someone feels like their time is running out, stressed out, migraines, worry. And then the time card came out in the reverse, which is um, delay, procrastination, too busy. There's a narcissist here who's paranoid because they know they've stirred up some sort of mess here. They've, they've stirred up a mess big time. And they're tense, you know, they're, they're worried because, you know, they know their time's running out for something here. Or someone here was trying to delay something for you, and now it's just like a whole mess. Um, can you clarify the narcissist paranoid tension time? Family came out in the reverse. Home, background, um, or someone you've got a bond with. So this could be your family. Maybe you're going to be able to see things clearly with the justice card here, or someone could be going to court. Vow, wish, hope, worship. Hmm, what's the vow about? Or someone here is praying to get truth and clarity about what's going on in their family. Gift, souvenir, promotion, delight. So someone here could be praying for a gift. What's the gift? Oh, Lord. Ominousness. Insidious cautiousness. Sign. Someone here could be praying that the universe hands them a gift in the form of a, like maybe some sort of sign or something ominous where they can control and manipulate a situation to make somebody compromise with them so that they can repair a connection that that's been broken because now someone's in jail or someone feels like they're victimized or kicked out of your energy here. Ooh, that, that's why that's stuck like at the Fury card is here. Hold on. Stuck behind that, we got Bully. I'm about to clean these cards off. I think I spilled some water or something on them and I thought I let them dry. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. Okay, let me read to you what I got. Okay, take it how it resonates, okay? I have the Marinette card here, okay? This is a card of manipulation, okay? So you may be getting truth and clarity. Justice is here for you. And this is something you may have been praying for because, you know, something somebody was doing something insidious in the background. You may have been seeing signs of this. But the truth is, so you, you guys are about to hear what the hell's been going on. Someone here was trying to manipulate someone to compromise with them, to agree with them, to reconcil to have a reconciliation with them, okay? So that they can repair things with the maintenance card here. Or this could involve a car. You know, maybe because someone feels like they're victimized or, you know, they're in a victim mindset or someone feels like they're going to jail or they could be in jail. And now they're mad because they were trying to bully you or embarrass you or hurt you. And maybe somehow they, they hurt themselves. Take it how it resonates. This is a mess. You're dealing with a narcissist who's paranoid now because they know justice is there. I can't make it up. Robbery. In caution, unfairness, like somebody's stealing or lying or trickery or, you know what I'm saying? And then inducement, persuasion, bribe, temptation. Somebody here may have bribed somebody to team up with them to steal or take or be unfair to you in one way or the other. Treasure. They were promised treasure. Someone here may have been promised some sort of abundance or something, you know what I'm saying, if they assisted them with some sort of robbery or, you know, some sort of unfairness. This is crazy. That is a whole mess. That's crazy. Okay, let me keep going here. Um, Holy Spirit, can you clarify the tarot stocking, divination stocking, psychics? What is that about? I love how that's just spit out like... All right, we got sipping and salty. <laughs> Let that drive the energy. Sipping and salty. Sipping, like sipping tea. Rumors, gossip, nosy, salty, bitter, angry, petty. <laughs> you know I love that word. So check it. Okay, this tarot stocking is all sitting around gossip. Okay, someone was trying to dig up dirt on you so that they could talk about you. This is a salty ass energy here who's bitter. They're angry, you know, and they felt like they would be petty. So they've probably been watching tarot on YouTube or something. You know, take it how it resonates. Um, can you clarify sipping and salty? So you got a sipping salty ass energy here who's been tarot stalking you. Matter of fact, that might be the name of your reading. <laughs> Uh, sipping and salty. That's funny. Okay. 
Um, oh yeah. What's the sipping and salty? Let's see what we get. Huh. Someone here is sipping and salty because they're at a loss while you're partying. Indulgence here, like you're celebrating your wins. This is community. This could also talk about how someone feels like they lost a part of themselves or something like that. Um, but I really feel like someone here was trying to, was maybe indulging in this stalking behavior with a group of friends. Maybe because they wanted to gossip about a loss so that they could laugh about it. I don't know. It's weird. Like some, like you, you are somebody's entertainment. Like somebody really needs to get a life. Like they sincerely need to, because it seems to me like someone watches tarot or they may do tarot or they may have readings done so that they can see what's going on with you so that they could call and spread the tea about it. And that is their form of entertainment. Like someone here likes to cause damage for entertaining reasons. It brings them joy to see you lose. Yeah. Someone's in their pride and ego. Look at this shit. Cancer, um, self-esteem, self-worth, ego. Yeah, this is somebody who's in their pride and ego, and they get satisfaction out of seeing people lose. A sipping salty ass energy here. A sipping tea salty ass energy. Okay, let me keep going here. Um, Holy Spirit, can you clarify they are not hexing or cursing you? It is your karma. <laughs> All right. What's this about? today good vibes now in the moment this could be you okay and you're living in the moment you know you're celebrating you have good vibes going on you're not doing anything to be bothered with this person or this situation like you're not sending attacks you're not worried about them you're minding your own business you know what i'm saying like you like this woman she's like smoking a cigarette like she's lighting her cigarette off of her birthday cake like you know what i'm saying like you you're just enjoying life and just going with the flow you feel me and you're just stepping out and someone here is like uh yeah they're 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 probably throwing attacks at me what else that was goofy lust greed by any means necessary inconsiderate this is an inconsiderate as greedy as by any means as necessary as lustful as energy here who this could be also be a reckless energy here who like lives in the moment and they you know they they celebrate and party in ways that may may not be so well for them and now they're receiving karma and maybe they're trying to maybe they're trying to say that oh you know well um you know you know uh cancer you know they did that to me um hold on what else yeah clingy old exes dead relationships old ways this is definitely an old ex you know, a relationship that's already dead and gone. You are unbothered. You have moved on with your life and you are just doing you and somebody here, you know, by any means necessary, they're going to be greedy and they want to come after you for some stupid ass reason. Somebody need to chill, vacay. Like somebody need to get away and relax and have some fun in their life. This is something that you could be doing, you know, but they need to practice it for themselves and mind their own freaking business. Um, and stop, you know what I'm saying? And, and maybe if they didn't get so much karma, if they were minding their own business and they wouldn't think that you were attacking them. That's just so frustrating. You know, sometimes you can't win, though. You know, all you can do is just mind your own business and pray for people, you know. Um, please clarify today, Lust Clingy. Gain, cultivation, profit, conclusion. Yeah, this is you. You're winning. You are enjoying the fruits of your labor. You've been gardening for a while, and now you got a whole forest full of pear trees, and you're picking them, and you're enjoying them, and you're good. Like I said, you're good. Someone here is sick with it. Someone here is not so good. Someone here feels weak. They feel fragile. They someone here could have a disease. Like they're they're sick with it, and this could be faded. You know, with the fate card here, this can involve a tarot reader, like I said before, or fortune telling. Someone here may have had a, a reading done and saw that you were doing well, and they became sick with it. Or someone here is sick with it, you know what I'm saying, because it's their fate, because this is something, because they, maybe they were trying to do something to come against you. Hold on. Okay. Um, what else here? And then I'll get into some tarot. Yeah, somebody could be suffering. They're in a nightmare. Someone feels persecuted. Someone wanted you to feel persecuted. 
someone is seeing you win and they are not happy i'm telling you fright depression phobia paranoia someone here is not happy at all someone here may want your care and support and you probably ain't even listening to them because you're so up high you can't even hear their ass no more <sighs> all right let me get into some tarot <laughs> can't say that's crazy huh that's some crazy shit <laughs> Okay, Cancer. Let's scoot these up a itty bitty bit. Holy Spirit from my beautiful, lovely Cancer energies. Can you please give us some background on the situation? Can you please um, give us some insight on who's covering for a karmic? I want to know that. Who's covering for a karmic? Well... <laughs> I mean, if we go through every card, we must have. I mean, we must have to. Um, okay. An unhappy soul. Ten of Cups in reverse. Someone here could be covering for uh, covering for a karmic. Um, this could be someone in your family. This could be a broken family dynamic or a struggle, struggling relationship. Or someone's dreams got shattered because they were covering for a karmic. Or someone was covering for a karmic because they wanted your dreams to be shattered. What's the Ten of Cups reverse? Someone here is just unhappy. Three of Cups in reverse. Third party situation. So someone here could have been covering for a third party who's unhappy because maybe you broke up with them. And they didn't want to let you go with the Death card in reverse. And the fucking Two of Cups in reverse. And the Seven of Cups reverse. Somebody here was spinning illusions, confusion, fantasy. Somebody was living a fantasy that you would probably never leave them alone or something. Somebody, a third party might have got involved in this situation to maybe, like, be, I don't know. Like, somebody here was trying to help somebody hold on to somebody, it seems like. It's kind of crazy. Scorpio energy with the death reverse. I don't know if I said that before. This is an unhappy ass. This is a third party who doesn't have happiness in their own life. This is somebody who don't have a fulfilling relationship of their own, but yet they want to interfere in somebody else's. Somewhere here may have a lack of purpose. They live in a fantasy. They could be spinning illusions. Somebody's confused. And they don't want to leave somebody. They don't want to let somebody go. They might have enlisted the help of a friend to help them to hold on to somebody. Um, what's the Seven of Cups reverse? Strength reverse. Somebody doesn't want to let somebody go. Leo energy. Weakness, insecurity, self-doubt, low energy. Someone who's struggling. Somebody who's in their pride and ego. Someone here may have been spending illusions here to make somebody weak or feel insecure or have self-doubt so that they wouldn't walk away from them or hold on to them or something like that. Or this could talk about how you've moved on from this energy because they're in this energy of being insecure or weak or they have a lot of self-doubt. Holy Spirit, what is I'm karmic as fucking I want to be left behind? Page of Swords, <laughs> communications coming through about that, or um, someone here could be restless. This is like mental energy here. Um, so someone's mental energy could be that okay, they they could be fully aware that they have things they're struggling with, but they and they know that they need to maybe heal from them, but they are struggling with it somehow, and they just don't want you to leave them behind. Maybe what's the Page of Swords about? Or you're going to be hearing communication from this person who's karmic as fuck and they don't want you to leave them behind. Yeah, the hermit reverse. Somebody feels isolated, alone, Virgo energy. Um, someone here um, feels like they've lost their way. So this could be someone here who's lost their way when it comes to healing and doing their shadow work. And and yeah, not a swords in reverse. Someone who's in despair, inner turmoil. Someone may have deep-seated fears or secrets. You know, somebody's really worried. They can't sleep at night. You know, someone here may be trying to reach out to you for help. 
like I said, this could be communication that someone wants to come in and communicate with you about something, or this could simply be the mental energy that someone feels like they've lost themselves, like they lost their way. They could feel isolated and alone, lonely. And they're just, you know, they have a lot of secrets or something that's maybe holding them back. A lot of inner turmoil, a lot of things they're not healing from. Um, what's the nine of swords in reverse? Ace of, Ace of Wands in reverse. I'm sorry, I almost said Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands in reverse. That's delays, lack of motivation, lack of energy, lack of passion. Someone who feels weighed down, someone who feels bored. I'm telling you, somebody here, they have a lack of passion. They have a lack of drive to help themselves. This could also be the energy that always talks about self-betterment, like self-improvement, you know, things like that, but they never act on them, never. And they may have assumed that you were the same way because this energy may have been around people who do this. They talk about wellness and making themselves better for the world and for themselves, I mean, for their family or whatever, and they just never act on it. So they've adapted that attitude where well, you're different. You know, they approached you and you don't just talk you walk the talk you know what i'm saying you talk the walk or walk the talk how the hell you do it you walk the walk there you go you talk the talk and you walk the walk is what i'm trying to say come on y'all <laughs> y'all know i stumble on here <laughs> you know what i'm saying and yeah you're a star star energy here aquarius energy you know what i'm saying like you know your path you have hope you know what your purpose is you know what i'm saying this is about spirituality fortune good omen rejuvenating having faith in your purpose in yourself you know what you are you know what you're supposed to be doing you know, you're following your path and that path, you following that path here, um, cancer may involve you having to break apart from this person. The lovers is in reverse. Gemini energy. The lovers card does not have to be romance. It does not have to be love. This could signify any type of partnership or, or attraction or a big decision that needs to be made. You feel me? It's really about the balancing of masculine and feminine energies too. Um, so the lovers reverse can be self-love as well. So you could be full of self-love. You've balanced your feminine and your masculine energies. And now you know what your purpose is and you're on your path. Someone here could be suffering too. Someone here may feel like they made a bad choice or someone here may be indecisive and they may have commitment issues. But I honestly don't, I think this lovers in reverse is, a, is, is positive. I think this is about self-love because the five of pentacles is in reverse at the bottom. And that talks about recovering from financial loss and struggles and challenges here. And you're moving on. So this was really a challenge for you to love yourself and to come into union with yourself. And now, you know what I'm saying? You're moving on and this person can't understand that. They, they don't understand it at all. They just don't want to be left behind. I'm not lying, Cancer. Five of Cups, regret, failure, disappointment, uh, pessimism, loss, grief. Like somebody here is like in regret over losing you. They are grieving. And, you know, I know it must feel tough for you or for your person or whoever, you know, this reading's for. I know it must feel tough to like really see somebody in that energy and, and know. And you really want the best for them, you know. This isn't like the energy of, oh, well, you know, I'm better than you. Or, oh, you know, well, I did my work. You know, screw you. do You know what I'm saying? You on your own. It's not even about that, you know? You genuinely have compassion and empathy for this person. And you may have been trying your best to get them to elevate along with you. But upon elevating for yourself, you realize this person, they have to put in the work. You can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make them drink. And that most certainly is probably what happened here. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, magician, you know your power. You're taking action. You know what I'm saying? You're manifesting. You know, you have your self-confidence. You have clarity about who you are. This is your willpower. This is like your self-authority, your creativity. Like, this is you manifesting all the things you want, and you're going with the flow, and now things are going to be balanced, you know? Um, okay, let me keep going here. Um, Holy Spirit, can you clarify um, the workplace drama? Okay, Six of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Um, so this could talk about an unbalanced energy or someone who's trying to breadcrumb someone, power and domination, one-sided charity, unpaid debts. What's the Six of Pentacles in reverse? So somebody feels like something's unfair. Somebody feels like they are owed something and they are not getting it. Yeah, the magician. Someone here feels like they are owed the type of power that you have, maybe without putting in so much of the work. What's the um, Six of Pentacles reverse with the Magician? Yeah, this is somebody who's greedy, possessive, stingy, 
Four of Pentacles in the reverse. And then we got the Devil reverse at the bottom. Capricorn energy. This is somebody here who um, is greedy, possessive, stingy. That someone here may have a lack of will, a lack of control. Okay, we got the King of Cups in reverse. This could be an emotionally unbalanced ass energy here. Nine of Cups reverse. Someone lacks inner joy. They are not happy on the inside. This, again, this is somebody, your ships are coming in, three of wands, opportunities are coming in, progress is being made, and somebody here is just stuck. I don't know how many other ways to say it, Scorpio energy with the King of Cups, like somebody is stuck. Let me keep going here, let me see what the concerns is about. Holy Spirit, can you clarify the concerns? Oh, okay. We got the Eight of Cups and then we got the Empress in reverse. That's Libra, Taurus energy, Venus energy. Someone here has concerns about someone that's an uh, Empress in reverse. It's going to be a baby mama, wife, mother figure. Um, someone here has, has been really, really disappointed and they are escaping the situation and walking away. They are leaving behind this Empress in reverse. This is someone who has a lack of concentration. They don't take action on nothing. They're dependent on everybody. Selfish. They have creative blocks. They're indecisive. They could be overwhelmed by anxiety or infidelity. This is an individual that someone's, this could be you just really understanding that there are some sort of, something ain't adding up with this energy. And so you've just had to walk away from them. What's the, um, yeah, you're walking away in uh, Ace of Pentacles upright. You're walking away in, into abundance, into opportunities, new careers, and things like that. Like, someone here, you, you got concerned that maybe they went moving forward and you moved on, like I said before. You're like, okay, just because you stuck, don't mean I got to be stuck, you know? What's the Empress reverse and the Eight of Cups? Someone's walking away from this Empress in reverse, definitely. Yeah, the star. Someone's on their path. Aquarius energy. That came out a minute ago. Put it back. Hope, calm, faith, purpose. Like, someone here is walking on to their purpose. They're walking away from someone here who's selfish and, I mean, dependent, all that jazz I just said a second ago. Or this could also be seen that in the this could be past energy and this could be like your past energy, how you used to feel. And now maybe you're moving on from that and because you, you have hope and you you've, um, you have faith in yourself. And, you know, now you know what your purpose is. Take a how it resonates here. But mainly I kind of feel like that this is this concern here is just somebody like, look, I can't, I'm concerned. I can't deal with this insecure as energy anymore they don't want to take action they don't want to do nothing but to sit here and be woe is me and be a victim you know what i'm saying so i gotta walk away and follow my best path here will of fortune this cycle's over this cycle of being stuck with the hangman reverse is done it's done yo it's done pisces energy um what's the uh instant karma <laughs> ace of pentacles them seeing you eat <laughs> what else is the instant karma your enemies are gonna watch you eat Sun reverse, instant karma, Leo energy. That's depression, uh, negativity, uh, carelessness, arrogance, sadness, uh, depression, pessimism. Justice reverse, Libra energy, unfairness, lack of accountability, guilt, dishonesty, punishment, karmic justice. That's what it is in reverse. Every time someone um, is negative towards you or like tries to treat you unfairly, to make you sad or to make you feel like you want to be depressed, they're going to get karma. Instant karma. Every time they come at you on some foul shit with the sun in reverse, they're going to get instant karma. What's the sun reverse and the justice reverse? This may already happen a few times without you even knowing, Cancer. No doubt. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Lovers reverse. This is an insecure, jealous-ass energy here that you've broken away from one way or the other. Gemini energy with the lovers, like I said before. Judgment. Judgment's been called on this situation. And since judgment's been called and the horn's been blown on their ass, every single time they try to come at you with that jealous, insecure ass, self-centered ass energy that wants to start conflict, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> They're going to get punished. This is going to be bad news. Page of Wands in reverse. Oh, also Page of Wands in reverse is um, creating conflict. This is shit starter ass energy. Every single time somebody tries to come at you with this shit starting ass energy here, some sort of bad news, they are going to get karma. No freaking doubt. Like your spirit team ain't having it, Cancer. They are not having it. No doubt. Okay, let me go to No Limits. What's No Limits about? 
Ooh, sorry. <laughs> okay, six of wands, victory. Somebody had no limits as to as far as what, how far they would go to get public victory or recognition. Progress. What's the six of wands? Somebody's in their ego. Nine of wands in reverse. Like someone here, they don't they don't have a limit to how far they'll go to see you exhausted, overwhelmed. Like someone here will overwhelm themselves, exhaust themselves just to have attention. That's what that is. Six of wands is attention. Somebody wants attention. And someone does not someone here that has no limit to how far they will go to get that attention from you, Cancer. They will overwhelm themselves. They will be on the defense. I mean, like someone here is retarded. Someone here needs help. What else? Sorry for the name, Colin, but they really need help. Like for real. Two, I'm telling you, two of swords. You may have blocked this energy out. You know what I'm saying? Because they had no limit. Or someone here is confused. They don't know what they're doing. Or someone was trying to block you. Page of Pentacles. Someone here was trying to block something from manifesting. There is no limit to where someone would go. I mean, to how far someone would go for victory. They will exhaust themselves to block things from manifesting for you. Is that what I'm seeing here? Because this is their desire to block you. Someone here is like trying to manifest some sort of block in your life, Cancer. And there, there is no limit to how far they'll go to see it happen. You could be manifesting this Ten of Pentacles with this fool, which is like a, a stable, healthy, I mean, a stable, wealthy, uh, secure beginning, you know what I'm saying, for the family financially. And the fool is new beginnings, you know what I'm saying? So you could be manifesting this and somebody here is trying to block it out. I'm telling you, the chariot in reverse, that's your sign, cancer energy. This is stuck energy. This is an obstacle in the road and the chariot can't get past it. Someone, this is lack of direction, lack of control. Someone's arrogant or someone's careless. Someone here wanted to block your blessings and that there's no limit. They'll, they'll, they'll go on forever. The tower, they will go on forever. Someone is retarded. I'm sorry. What's the crabs in the barrel mentality? Okay, Queen of Wands. This could be an Aries energy, so this could very well mean that um, someone here could... This, yeah, it's just like what I was saying before. <clears throat> Excuse me. When I was saying that someone here can see you have a glow up because the Queen of Wands, she gets attention. You know, she's beautiful. She's sexy. She's independent. You know what I'm saying? She's creative. You know, she's a social butterfly. Everybody loves being around her. She's fun. So you're getting all this attention. You're glowing up. You're looking good. And someone here does not like that shit. Knight of Swords in reverse. Someone here, they, they feel like it's unfair or unfocused. They, uh, someone here could be unpredictable or have no direction. Or someone here has disregard for consequences here. This could be that energy that has no discipline. And so they can't be where you are. And this could be divine intervention. Um, hold on. What's the, what else with the cat, crabs in the bro mentality? Again, no pun intended. Okay, sorry. Knight of Cups, I'm telling <laughs> Cancer. Okay, check it. Okay, because I'm going to get you some advice after this. That's it. Somebody here, I'm telling you, the world loves you. God loves you. Spirit loves you. Everybody loves you. Okay, the Knight of Cups energy. You could have a prince and like a knight in shining armor ready to come and offer you something. And you're moving on with your life. Things are picking up for you. Or this could just talk about the energy of how everybody loves you. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be like, be like a particular person. Somebody here, they don't like that at all. They don't. They don't. Yeah, six of swords in reverse. Someone here does not want to let you go. They feel like they got unfinished business with you. Someone here got emotional baggage with you because they see you getting all this praise and attention and they probably don't have that for themselves. Seven of swords in reverse. Someone here um, could be deceptive of, or something like that. Overly emotional queen of swords in reverse. This could be a, a bitchy, cold-hearted, cruel, bitter-ass energy here. Libra energy. Eight of Swords upright, a victim, someone who's in a victim mentality, someone here who has negative thoughts, a self-imposed restriction. You know what I'm saying? So again, you are looking good and they are stuck and they absolutely cannot handle that. Let me get you some advice here. Holy Spirit, can you please give me some advice here for this situation for my lovely Cancer Energies? Please and thank you. Okay, Cancer. So we got, it is time. 
You're being asked to move forward toward the dream that you've been carrying in your heart. It's time to bring it out into the world. You are ready. It is time. It's time, okay? It's time for you to shine. It's time for you to move forward towards the dream that you've been carrying in your heart, okay? Pay attention. You're being asked to pay extra close attention to the signs you're being given, both the subtle ones and the ones that can't be missed. These signs will help you see how to best move forward in order to live your best life. So the universe is going to be giving you signs. So make sure you pay extra close attention, you know what I'm saying, you know, from the, you know, to the universe, to everything around you, you know what I'm saying? So you know which way to go um, in order to live your best life, you know what I'm saying? Receive. You're being asked to be open to receiving universal gifts. I can't, I just said that. These could come in the form of love, money, compliments, healing energy, and universal wisdom. Know that you're worthy of these gifts and be open to receiving them. So be open to receive. Pay attention. Pay extra close attention to the universe because you're going to be getting gifts. Um, and, and that could be tangible or intangible. You know what I'm saying? Wisdom can be a gift. All right. I'm going to get you for the takeaway advice. African goddess rising. We'll do one of those. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> My phone, I won't say her name, thought that I was dictating something. So everything I just said to you, it just like typed out on my watch. <laughs> and it's like, what do you want me to send this to? And I, you know, it should have been, it would have been funny to send it to my sister. She would have like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> All right, Holy Spirit, for my lovely cancer energies. <laughs> Can you please give us some takeaway advice, please, for this situation? We just need one card. Damn, that flew way over there. Alrighty then. So we've got, uh, okay. Let me say something. Okay. Those who watch me, you may be familiar with this card. Okay. Her name is Katesh and she, her, her card means sacred lust. So with the term lust, I, I hope that you guys can understand where I'm going. Okay. <laughs> She's naked. I mean, nothing is hidden. Okay. And she just, and She's just like, da-da, you know what I'm saying? Like showing the world her goods, okay? So I cannot show the card because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a hater that watched my reading and they'll flag it for YouTube and I have to take the whole video down because I showed somebody's boobs <laughs> and they're, they're good stuff, you feel me? <laughs> so I'm not going to show it, but I will, I can block out, hold on, because I really wanted you to see the imagery because it really is beautiful artwork. It's just not appropriate for YouTube for whatever reason. See, I just want you to just, just kind of get a glimpse of the suggestive position. I've covered over the, 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 the Nazi parts. I don't know if you can see that, not from here. <laughs> but see how she got her arms spread out? She's like showing her goods, okay? <laughs> she's got two men standing beside her, and she's standing on top of a lion. I don't know if you can see that. So it's like quite a picture. She's standing on top of an actual lion. So let me see what that is. I think I could be taming a lion of lust. Oops. Okay, good. You can't see that from here. Good. Making sure. Because, <laughs> again, we got haters, and all I need is for somebody to flag and be like, oh, yeah, she's showing naked pictures. Take her down. That's, if you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you watch other readers, you know, some of our cards will actually have, like, the naked ones, like Judgment. Matter of fact, prime example, Judgment. I've had to draw clothes on this card. I don't know if you could tell from here, but I've had to put, like, a bikini on the girl and, like, boxer shorts on the men. And all the cards, like lovers, same thing. I've had to draw clothes on them. And that, and that's the reason why. You know, I don't know if you guys may have known that, but if you watch other readers and you see that they've blotted it out, that's because someone has actually taken the liberty out to report their freaking video and said that there's nudity on there just so that they would have to take it down. And I, when I first started reading on YouTube, I didn't even realize that was a thing. But I was just like, come on, really? But yeah, the haterism is real. So yeah. I know that you guys are big boys and girls and know how to handle a naked picture, but apparently there are some people who cannot. Let me get to the card now. I'm sorry for my ramble, but just so you know, okay? <laughs> All right. Her guidance says, you are an erotic creature. You have a divine right to experience sensual ecstasy. It is sacred to give and receive pleasure. You deserve to feel good. It feels good to feel good, so allow yourself to feel, to feel good. Lean into your sacred lust. Turn up your own fire and quench your thirst. Dance with pleasure. You you daring to embrace your sensu your sensuality will set the world on fire. And her declaration says it feels good to feel good. So, Katesh is the mistress of the gods. She's a she's the Egyptian goddess of sacred sexuality, ecstasy, and fertility. Okay, 
So this is a calling for you to allow yourself to feel good, to please yourself. Sacred lust doesn't have to be sexual. It's just sensual. You know, so I can even say it right. Sensual. <laughs> all this damn talking. I swear I get tongue twisted all the damn time. <laughs> sexual and sensual. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, so Spirit is saying that it feels good to be, it's okay for you to feel good, to have that lust, to have that, that type of pleasure. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. All right. Cancer energy. So I'm going to end your reading there. Okay. I really hope that resonated for you. And I really hope that you enjoyed it because I enjoy reading for you as always. Okay. Please thumbs up the video for your girl. Show me some love. Um, please also leave comments because I love to hear the stories and everything and uh, share the videos. If you think it may resonate for someone else, you know, just you know, get the message out. You feel me? I also wanted to take a moment to mention that I have playlists available for all my signs, all the different readings. So please go ahead and check those out. There might be a reading in there or two for you to check out. All right. <laughs> Let me get out of here and into the next reading and I will see you guys later. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching me. Bye.